So in this version of Under the Bridge, we're going to take the chords and put them together with the melody and make what we call a chord melody of them. Uh, starting at the beginning, we're going to finger this D bar chord. And uh, it's like a C chord, but you do it two frets higher, and then you use your other three fingers to finger it because you're going to be barring right behind it in the second fret there. And we're going to be uh, switching this D chord to an F sharp bar chord. So we'll have D to F sharp. And they're going to go back and forth. Now in the original recording, uh, there's two guitars playing it, and one is just playing a note on top like this, back and forth. And then the other one is actually arpeggiating the chord. But in this version, we're going to put both of those things together. Um, and to do that, you have to use hybrid picking in your right hand. So you're going to use your ring finger, and you're going to pluck with your ring finger on the second string at the same time as you pluck that first note with your pick on the fifth string. So you're going to do that, and then uh, you pluck them together, and then pluck the, the fourth string, and then the third string, then back to the fourth string, and then the second string, and then the third string. And after you've done that much, you're going to do this run to take you down to the F-sharp chord. So uh, C-sharp, B, A, G-sharp, F-sharp. And then you're going to hold that last note, and from that you're going to finger the F-sharp bar chord. And um, you're also going to pluck the C-sharp note at the same time as the F-sharp using the hybrid picking. sharp bar chord and you pluck the fifth string fourth string fifth string again and then the third string and then back to the fourth string so that's so so far we have the D chord point we're going to do another run F sharp on the fourth string E D and then B and then we're going to start with a slide with your pinky it's kind of a tricky slide using your pinky and at the same time as you do that slide you're going to pluck the D on the second string um, so it's kind of a hard combination On top, when you get to that D note, you're going to hammer on and pull off. So that's hammering on from the D to E. And, it, and you probably should use your middle finger and pinky for that. Um, they're going to work the best, I think. Uh, and then comes the other slide. So you're going to hit the D and F sharp together. Slide them up two frets each, and then you go on to the F sharp chord. But from this uh, slide, the pinky slide, we have. And then once again, we're back to F sharp. You're going to pluck the C sharp on the second string and the F-sharp on the top string at the same time. And at that point, it just keeps repeating back and forth uh, between that D and that F-sharp chord until the first verse starts. Um, so with the first verse, uh, we're going to play an E bar chord in the seventh fret. The melody note right there is a G-sharp note. So we're going to kind of separate and where you just strum the power chord of the E first. And then you get sometimes I feel right there on that G sharp note. Now we're going to switch to the B chord and we're going to use a B chord. Uh, 
here in the second fret, but uh, instead of putting that B note on there, we're going to leave it off and bar with our first finger. And luckily, the melody note right there is a G sharp, actually makes it a, a B6 chord. But we're just going to be there for a second. Um, so we're going to go in the fourth fret and then add your pinky to the seventh fret and then middle finger to the fifth fret. And after that, we got some open strings coming. So open E and open B. Your ring finger's gonna hit the C sharp note there in the, in the fourth fret. And at the same time as it hits that note, you're going to do a hammer onto the C sharp in the second fret um, on your second string. So we got. And after that, we're going to pluck the first string and then pluck the second string again and then partner. So you're going to go 4th uh, fret, get the A flat note there, and then F sharp there, kind of a stretch happening. And then open strings, open A string and open E string. And at the end, I just like to hit this harmonic in the 7th fret, because it's just a pretty, pretty sound so far. So, so far what we have is... go through it the second time. The second time is going to start out the same. And this time, after you get to that F sharp note right there, you're going to hit the open B and do another hammer on. And then go to this chord right here. A beautiful A6 chord. And uh, you finger it with your pinky on the second string in the seventh fret, and then your middle finger on the uh, third string in the sixth fret, and last of all, your ring finger on the fourth string in the seventh fret, and then pluck the open A string with it. And now we're halfway through that first verse. Um, so, so far we've got. Second one. Now at the end of this A6 chord, you're going to want to hit the B string twice, and then you start over again. City I live in, E chord. Here's your B, but just start right on the F sharp. The City of Angels. Here's the part where something different happens. Lonely as I am. Lonely as I am. So on I am, you're going to go to that B chord right there, and you're going to get this G natural note in there, which sounds a little off by itself. But you're going to resolve it down a half step, and so that's a, a pinky slide there. And then use a hammer on from E to F sharp. So that's lonely as I am. That G note, that's a little bit of the bluesy sound coming in, so it just makes it sound a little bit more bluesy right there. And then together we cry. And at the very end, E major 7 chord. This is an unbarred E major 7, so you get the open E on, on top and on bottom. And I like to fill it up so you're not just sitting there hanging around holding the chord. Um, and so I fill it up with this little fill. So uh, starting on the 7th and going down to the 5th. the 
again, I'm doing octaves. So thanks for watching this video so far, and I hope that helps you with Under the Bridge, and I hope that you'll be able to figure out the rest of this song. Um, in the next video, we're going to work on the uh, well on the, the next verse and on the chorus of the song, and I'll show you how to play that part as well. So thank you very much, and have a great day.